right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Beautiful day today. Gonna go to the bike shop, check out the new 2021 Stump Jumper Evo. I wish I could bring you a review, but I got a busted ass leg still. Got my ACL replaced. So, gonna go to the shop, take a look at it, see what it looks like in real life, and uh, maybe let's talk about the spec and the components on it. Oh, such a pain in the ass to get in this car. Big ass truck. Messed up knee. Oh, yeah. All right. Shall we? Park in the back at the VIP entrance. All right, so we made it to Bike Barn and look at their inventory. They are fully stocked. I can't believe it, but if you guys need a bike, definitely need to get here. Bike Barn Racing, Whitman, Massachusetts. Got to put the wide angle lens on to capture all these bikes. Do put it wherever you want. That's what she said. All right, Mark. What are, they doing? are they going to smoke weed out there? I don't know. What are they doing out <laughs> there, right? Nice and gentle. Gentile. Can you see it? What's up? Oh, you, you can't even see the numbers. <laughs> That's how much it weighs. It weighs 0.6 without pedals. Wait for it. <laughs> there we there go. There you go. Hey, yeah. look at Smart that. man. You're the mechanic. No, right? I'll say 32-ish. Call 32 pounds. Yeah, right there. Two ounces. Out pedals. Tubes in this thing? Uh, yes. The tubes. That's and pretty light, dude. dude. Check bad. it out. This is new. Wait for it. Oh, the bladder. Bam! That's pretty good dope. You can put that in any stumpy, though. It's the swatter. Little Red Sox. Uh. Well, here it is, guys. It's the 2021 Stump Jumper Evo. If you follow my channel, you just have the 2020. Um, but they did a couple of revisions on this newer one. Comes in 29 wheels only. This expert model does have a full carbon frame. I believe all the Evos are all carbon, and it's the fat 11M carbon designed in California. Retails for $4,899. And this is probably the spec I would go with the expert. It comes with, you know, a Fox Performance 36 fork, the Grip 2 damper, 160 meters of travel. DPX2 rear shock with 150 millimeters of travel with a tune specific for this bike. Um, you have a code RS brakes, great stopping power, 200 millimeter rotors front and back, revolt traverse, uh, aluminum wheels, 30 millimeter inner width to hold the tires nice. Got the 2.3 butcher with the new grid trail T9 compounds. So it's a little bit softer than the regular butcher, and then you have the limiter, eliminator. T7 compound, which is a little bit harder, faster rolling. This feels like almost the regular eliminator. Comes with the new SRAM X01 Eagle. Got that big bailout gear, 52 tooth, and a pretty slick looking paint jobs with the clear coat with a raw carbon here, and then blends in. Oh, there's a pretty substantial line there into this like mint green. Comes with the uh, specialized aluminum bars, 35s. It looks like it's about 780 millimeters, maybe. But uh, to get to the actual accurate specs, I'll leave a link to the Specializes website so you guys can uh, geek out over the spec on this bad boy. 50 millimeter stem. And for the drop, we got the Manix X Fusion on this S5. I believe it's 170 millimeters of drop pike, but a 200 if you're this big of a guy or girl riding this bike. The uh, just specialized specific little lever, plastic, it works. And at top of that dropper, you have the bridge specialized saddle. Look pretty comfy. This is a size S5, which is really big. Um, reach numbers are just under 500 millimeters. I think it's 498 on this side. So this bike is way too big for me. I'd probably go with an S3. I'm 5'10", or maybe an S4. S4 looks like it's like the old S3 of uh, 2020. But what's really cool about this bike that really differentiated it from the previous models that you can adjust the geometry at two different points. Um, you have no longer a flip chip in the yoke. You have the flip chip down here in the pivot here on the chain stay. So you can put it in high low position and you also can adjust how slack you want your head tube angle. You got the adjustable cups in there. 
So a lot of adjustability, which is really cool. So if you're riding your more local trails that are a little bit tighter, make the head tube angle a little bit steeper, raise the bottom bracket up. And if you want to go hit the bike park, slam it and uh, make it really slack in the back with the adjustable cups in the headset there. Also in the SWAT, you've got your little multi-tool in the bottle cage there and you open, oh man, it's stiff. Open up the SWAT door, got a tube in there and your little pouch and you have a little water bladder right here. As Mark showed us earlier, so you can add additional water. It goes down like basically stores into the down tube like this. And then your little tube goes on top of that. So that's pretty cool. So you can put a water bottle right here, full size, and that pouch. So no pack necessary. Also have the chain stay protector like all the stumpies with the little ridges. Quiet down the ride. Really nice. I really wish I could bring you guys a live review like I normally do, but you know, got the bum leg, got the ACL fix. That's so gonna be a couple more months at least until I can ride this puppy. But man, she looks really good. Stump Jumper always has a real slick, pretty looking frame. And I feel like they're giving you pretty good bargain in 2021. You're getting a lot of bike for the money. Whew, just spent way too long in that shop. Almost bought probably three more bikes than I can even ride. Uh, <laughs> But I wonder how that Stumpy Evo pedals. You know, it still have has still has the old FSR, but they said they tune the shock in the way where it minimizes pedal bob. So I'm curious. I'm not a huge fan of you have to tune the shock for the bike to perform. If that makes sense, I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. You, that should be designed in the frame, and then the shock you just you can put volume spacers and that kind of stuff in it, which I'm cool with. But whatever. Still a really cool looking bike. I'm sure it rips. But guys, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, hopefully I'll be on the trail soon. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.